Hello Aries, welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rosa and I'm here to bring you another weekly love read. Um, I've decided to switch things up so I hope you enjoy the, the different reads that I'm bringing in. Uh, today we're going to ask the Oracle and the Tarot cards, what does the special person that you're connecting to or dealing with in love what is it that they want to say? What is it that they want to text you? What is it that they want to tell you? Perhaps this is something that you're going to hear from them very soon. Perhaps they might tell you when they see you next. Okay, so we're going to just see whatever messages come through in and around this topic. And Aries, if you enjoy this reading, if you if you get something out of it, then please feel free to hit that like button to let me know. We're just going to dive in and get started, you guys. I'm going to be working with the Spirit Animal Oracle by Colette Baron Reed, and I'm going to use the Wild Unknown Tarot deck as well. All right, first message, Cow Spirit. The miracles are endless. Okay. Second card. Turkey spirit. Give with gratitude and grace. Yeah, I'm getting that very strongly coming through with this person. And flamingo spirit. Embrace the in-between. So first of all, what I want to say here, Aries, is this person wants to tell you that they are very grateful to have someone like you in their life. They want to show gratitude or just show their appreciation for you, okay? They want to tell you that they appreciate you. They want to give thanks, okay? I see this person coming through, yeah, saying thank you, thank you for being there, or thank you for listening, or thank you for everything that you've done for me, thank you for everything that you're doing for me. Um, I feel that this person also wants to tell you that right now they're going through some kind of transition or change. I do feel that this person has kind of received some kind of good news or lucky break in their life. And right now, they're kind of like that in-between stage. And I'm also hearing here that um, they want to thank you for being maybe patient with them or being understanding whilst they're going through some kind of a transition or change. But I do feel that this person has received some kind of an opportunity in their life. It could be around the workplace. It could be like a, a an offer to do something really amazing with their life. Uh, maybe they've been accepted, I don't know, into a university that might, that might require like distance or travel. Um, but they've, they've been accepted or they, they've been given some kind of an opportunity. They see this as a blessing. They see this as a miracle. And right now they're going through some kind of a transition around that. Okay, let's see what other messages want to come through. What does this person want to tell Aries? Daughter of Pentacles. Yeah. Yeah. That's Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I do feel that this person wants to tell you that they've received some kind of an offer to learn something, study something, and it might require travel, okay? It might require um, being in kind of like two different places at once, you know? Mm, I, I definitely get a strong offer here. For this person, they've received some kind of an offer. It could also be an opportunity at work. Okay, this person may have received some kind of offer or wonderful opportunity in regards to their career. 
and it's going to involve them starting from the ground floor up but they're willing to learn at this time father of pentacles i feel like this is kind of like a reading um where this person is really focusing on their career path okay they're really focusing on their future they're focusing on building long-term financial stability for themselves I really do feel that this person, yeah, wants to build themselves up financially or become very successful. I feel like this person is on their path to success. For others of you, the Father of Pentacles can speak to real estate. So this person may be in between two homes or two businesses right now. And they kind of want to let you know, hey, Aries, um, I'm sorry I haven't been in touch. You know, I'm moving, I'm moving location. I am changing jobs. And it's kind of like preoccupying them and taking up a lot of their time. But I do feel with the turkey here that this person has a lot to tell you, a lot of good news, good messages. Like this is something good. This is something wonderful. I feel like when you hear from this person, it's going to be all positive. Daughter of Wands, what did I say? Good news is coming in from this person. I, I just feel the conversation that they're going to have with you is going to be very positive. Um, it's going to also feel very reassuring, Aries. I do feel that there's going to be some kind of text message coming in. Um, this, is, this is great news. This is good news. This is positive messages coming in. For some of you, Aries, I feel that this person is going to text you first. They can't, they, yeah, they're kind of going to text you first to kind of put a little like teaser out. But uh, whatever they're going to tell you, it's going to be about their future. It could be some kind of vision that they've had for themselves. You may already know what that is for this person. But it's something that they could, they can see their themselves having for themselves or or they have envisioned this for a very long time. It's something that this person has wanted or desired for a very long time. The moon. You could be connecting to, I'm getting earth energy here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, with the moon could be Cancer, Pisces energy as well. I feel that, this is something that you're not going to expect with the moon. Okay, this is something that might be coming sort of out of the blue. You might not know that this is happening for this person right now. Maybe they have applied for a, a, a job um, and you didn't know that this is what they were doing. But with the moon here, it's telling me that it will be revealed. For others of you, I feel like this person has kept it a secret because they didn't want to ruin their chance of it coming true. Okay, so it's not like they deceived you with the moon here. It's just that they had to just wait, hold off, like hold off on telling you. Um, they just need to wait for the right time. For others of you, what this person wants to tell you is that they have strong feelings for you here. Always get with the moon card strong feelings um, that have been hidden or suppressed. But with the daughter of pentacles and the father of pentacles, this person likes to take their time when it comes to their feelings. Okay, maybe it's taken this person some time to open up to you. I feel that this person is maybe cautious by nature. They don't move very quickly. They just, yeah. At the bottom of the deck, we've got the five of wands. I do see the five of wands as a bit of a challenging time. So I feel that this person may have been going through a bit of a challenging time right now. 
okay because these five wands are sort of all scattered all over the place so i do feel that this person wants to tell you that they're they're sorry thank you for being patient with me my energy has been all over the place i feel like this person has had you know a fair bit going on in their life in different maybe areas these ones to me represent different areas or different corners of their life that has needed their attention and they've kind of had to divide their attention up between these five wands these five wands could be five different people five different projects just five different tasks five different things going on in their life and i feel it's been somewhat challenging and a bit of a trying time for them. Yeah, look at that. Son of Pentacles, more earth energy. But I do feel it's it's very... Um, it's sort of... the Their energy is sort of based around their work and their career. That's what I'm feeling. Or their finances. Their, their financial stability. They've kind of had to, like, get that in order... And that's been sort of taking up a lot of their time and their attention areas. But yeah, I do feel overall, the overall energy and the overall vibe for you, Aries, is this is a positive message. Um, this is a positive chat. When you talk to them, it's going to be something that you can get really excited for them about as well. So there we have it, guys. That's your reading. Hopefully this helped at this time. And until next time, take care.